Hair loss explained in seven simple stages. Hi guys, so how are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. Now, here on the channel, we talk a lot about hair products, stuff for uh, thinning hair, stuff to boost it, to smooth it. But I want to go back to the root and look at really hair loss and the seven stages. Now, this scale was created by someone called Hamilton. It was created in the 1950s and then it was sort of rejigged and developed redeveloped into the 1970s by someone called Norwood. Now, this scale is a scale that's used by doctors, by clinicians, by surgeons for hair transplants, and it's really become uh, kind of the go-to. So in this one, I wanna go through those seven stages and show you sort of really visually where you might be on that scale and also something you can do to help prevent moving up that scale. Now, if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do hit subscribe right now. The button is just below this video. Now, hair loss can start as early as puberty. So really, you've just grown that hair in and then you start to lose it. But really, it is very individual. You could have a guy who's in his 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s who's starting to lose his hair or recede. But I should say there's a full solutions area on manfromself.com. I'll link it up there. It's got loads about hair loss. There's also uh, stuff about treatments, about surgeries. So if you want to do some research, it's all there. But this seven stage scale should really help you see where you are there. Now stage one is kind of where you start. You've got all your hair, no receding hairlines, and it's looking good. Stage two, you're starting to see a slight recession and that starts from the temples really here. So it starts to move back. Now, as we know, prevention is better than cure. So I'm really pleased to be working with PHL, which is prevention hair loss. I actually did the genetic study, so a genetic test about two years ago to see the likelihood of me losing my hair. But PHL are the only UK brand to offer a genetic test to men and also then work out some of the solutions. And through loads of their clinical studies, you know, like the ones I was involved in, they've created a broad range of products to really target hair loss and also to help prevent it. Now, there's loads of hair loss products on the market, some of which I've used, some stuff to boost, some stuff to thicken, but really their unique selling point is that they use an ingredient called Gerilla. Now, Gerilla is in all of their products and it's a plant that's found in South America. Now, they are the only UK brand to use this plant. What it actually does is it's an anti-inflammatory and it helps to boost the hair follicle, so where the hair is growing from, into its growth phase. Now, I'm someone that really believes in facts and actually looking at studies, and they find that 84.6% of people that use this for 90 days found it effective. So for me, I think that's a real winner. Now on to stage three of hair loss, you're gonna to start to see that the hair is coming back even further, and that might create a U shape, an M shape, or a V shape. Now in stage four, the receding is even more severe, and you'll actually find that there's little to no hair on the vertex, which is the scalp. And the hair will be connected by a band of hair that will connect the remaining hair on the side of the scalp. You might also experience thinning at the front of your head. Now at stage five, the band of hair around the scalp connecting to the side of the scalp will start to narrow. It's also at this point that you'll start to see the sort of horseshoe shape of the hairline. Really at stage five, this is where treatment starts to get a lot harder. So again, guys, prevention. If you're starting to see something at stage two, that's where you want to start looking. Now into stage six, this is where all this sort of hair loss starts to join up and you've got that really pronounced horseshoe shape. Any remaining hair on the crown of the head will be extremely thin and the bald areas at the temples will join up with the balding of the scalp. And stage seven, which is the final one of the scale, at this point really you're considered to be bald. If you do have any hair on the top, it will be extremely fine and you might still have the band of hair around the sides. Now, those are the seven stages of the Norwood scale. There is a Norwood class A scale, again, because they like to add new things in. And this really is how the hair sort of moves back in the receding. Um, really, you're not gonna have anything moving from the scalp, so really that circular bit at the top, but you might just have it all moving back from the hairline. But guys, what I would say is check out this scale, do some more reading on manfromself.com. I've got loads of things. I've had hair loss experts writing. So there's absolutely everything going on, looking at treatments, obviously with the PHL stuff. I've linked it down below, all their products, all their solutions, the genetic tests. There's also a coupon code there. So if you want to save some money on it, 
then you can do so there. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Hopefully slightly informative and educational. You can let me know if you're on that stage scale, kind of what you're trying out, I would love to know. But thank you again for watching. If you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hit it. Hit it right now, the button is right there. So it's a more video suggestions down there. A link to my blog, to that solution area for hair loss right there. And my social, including Instagram, up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.